Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, shalom, what's good, konnichiwa. This video is basically a rant of all the things that has been bothering me. So to start off, Warner Brothers and DC decided to announce that they're going to go into production of a black Superman movie. They announced this on Henry Cavill's birthday, of whom doesn't even have a second Man of Steel movie. Henry rightfully stopped following Warner Brothers and DC on his social media platforms because it's like, first, you don't know how to utilize my character in the DCEU. You don't even give me a second movie. Second of all, they decide to announce that they're making a black Superman movie, not a Man of Steel 2 movie, but a black Superman movie. If they wanted a black Superman-esque type of movie, why didn't they produce the movie around Icon? Why couldn't they produce the movie around Val Zod? Why couldn't they produce the movie on Calvin Ellis, who's a black Superman, but he's a black Superman that was based around Barack Obama at the time when he was first inaugurated as the president of the United States. He's a black president and Superman. They could have won with either three of those options. They think black characters aren't authentic enough. They have to blackwash every single white originated character just so they can say, hey, there's a black Superman. If this movie actually does get produced with the race swapping, but there's gonna be a black Superman movie, I'm not gonna watch it. It's not worth my time, energy, and most definitely, it's not worth my $5 at the local movie theater. After finishing Falcon and Winter Soldier, I was like, why are they making Captain America black? Why couldn't they just allow Falcon to just be his own character? We still don't know anything about Falcon as a character. How are you going to give a side character who we know very little of a huge mantle to carry on after the OG Cap dies and not learn more about his origins. I thought that Sam was gonna give up the shield and just give it to the museum, you know, for Cap's legacy or whatnot. Or two, I thought both Sam and Bucky were going to share this shield, but not take up the mantle of Captain America. They'd still keep their um, aliases of White Wolf or Bucky Barnes and as Falcon. But no, because everything is woke nowadays, they decided to make, make it about a black man wanting to become uh, Captain America. Overall, I enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier and in my opinion, it's a better show than WandaVision. Another thing that's been bothering me was how Warner Brothers wanted Gal to apologize to her fans for a post that she made about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict that's happening right now. All she said in her post was, what's happening right now between the Israelis and the Palestinians is very heartbreaking. My heart is very broken and I'm sending my prayers to both sides. That's all she said, basically. This is just beyond ridiculous. She did nothing wrong and she said nothing wrong. What she actually did say was, this is the anniversary of Wonder Woman when it first came out. I'm so happy to be portraying such an iconic character, blah, 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 blah. But we all know what she was really saying. Uh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Wonder Woman. That's how it is. I said what I said. I meant what I said. I said what I meant, and I'm not changing what I said. People are mad at the iconic Monique for speaking the truth about Black women and them going out with their bonnets, headscarves, nightcaps, or going out in pajamas. You're really telling me that you're going to roll out of bed with your bonnet on, your nightcap on, stinky because you were in bed for seven, eight, nine hours 
with your pajamas on, you're gonna go put on some slippers and a robe and go to the airport, the grocery store. You're gonna go to Marshall's in your funky bathrobe, pajamas, and your bonnet on from the night before. Personally, I think that's tacky. I'm not gonna say ghetto cause that's, that's a stupid word. So I'm just gonna say it's tacky and it shows that you have very little respect for yourself and you have poor hygiene. If that's how you want to portray yourself to the world, that is how the world is going to act towards you. You have no class. You have no respect for yourself. You don't know how to dress out in public. And you don't. That's why I don't go to Walmart anymore. I think what Monique said was entirely correct. Because if you show that you don't have any respect for your appearance, that's how the world is going to treat you. Y'all black women need to get over yourselves and stop coming out here with your bonnet, your blankets, your slippers, your SpongeBob pajama pants. It's not cute. The last thing that I want to talk about is Sebastian Stan being quote unquote canceled just because his girlfriend is possibly racist. Apparently this Spanish woman named Alejandra Onivia is dating Sebastian Stan. I don't even know who the heck she is. She has made, I guess, inappropriate posts about like, oh, ha ha ha, having a fun time on Asian night or having a fun time at an African party or something like that. And then there was another video of her wearing indigenous clothing or in literal red or brown face. And then she was mocking the war call of indigenous people. Yeah, I don't agree with what she did. And I think that is kind of borderline racist and disrespectful. But the post saying Asian night and her dressed in a kimono, I'm iffy on that one. But if y'all want to call that racist, so be it. But people need to stop trying to cancel Sebastian for dating a girl who's kind of problematic try and cancel alejandra not sebastian because he's doing nothing wrong that was basically everything that has been getting on my nerves for like the last month or so thank you guys so much for watching me rant about everything that's been annoying me and getting on my nerves for the last month and i'll see you guys next time